Hello, everybody. I'm Bob with uh, On Eboard uh, Group. Uh, we do a lot of cool things, and today I'm going to do a little how to video on posting to Twitter vertical or portrait images. Uh, you might think that that's pretty straightforward, but in my experience, it, it really isn't. Um, if you look at this slide right here, this is one uh, posting I did to Twitter recently. And you can see that the thumbnail is severely on the top and the bottom. I use a ratio of uh, 16 to 9, or I should say I had it reversed 9 to 16. And 16 to 9 is your typical uh, landscape mode for Twitter. Um, and the interesting thing again is, is that uh, if your thumbnail doesn't show very well, uh, most people aren't going to get the message because they don't typically click on that for the full size view. So it's really important to get those little thumbnails, quote unquote, um, correctly formatted. So let me just show you an, ex uh, an example. Um, when and how can portrait photos be posted on Twitter, if at all? Now, Twitter allows, allows one to four images per tweet or per posting. And two combinations in particular do incorporate portrait images. And that's really important to remember. It's two photos and three photos are the ones that will incorporate a portrait photo in your tweet. So let me just go through the uh, individual tweets with a single photo and then we'll do two, three, and four photos. Okay, so the single photo is almost always has to be a portrait. I mean, always has to be a landscape, excuse me. It can't, no matter what uh, ratio you use to create a portrait photo, it will be cropped severely when posting a single image with your tweet. Um, and that uh, ratio for that photo is almost always going to be 16 to 9, okay? And it doesn't matter, you know, exactly what the pixels are as long as that ratio is true to form, okay? And of course, if you get it right, the entire image will show in the thumbnail and when people click on it, if they do, the entire image will be seen full screen. Typically, if it's 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. So here's uh, an example of a single photo tweet. This is one I did recently. And the reason why you want to do a single photo posting is because it's great for artistic statements. Uh, no further visuals are usually necessary. The one photo says it all. Uh, no further supporting visuals are necessary. Um, so that's a good reason to, you know, remember why you are tweeting and what can you use, what visuals can you use to support it? Does it need to be a single or multiple photo posting? So a two photo tweet uh, is when you can really use portrait photos, but the, and the ratio for that is seven to eight or 0.875 to one. So uh, it's kind of tricky with the math there. Uh, but again, uh, the beauty of this is that it will you, you can only do it in pairs and you really want to do double photo postings um, for additional perspective. So right here in my example, I have a flower that's uh, these ratios hold true not only for the desktop, but also for, you know, mobile. I, I've got a smartphone and I've looked at my tweets and they look okay on my smartphone, um, especially those thumbnails. It seems like it, that when they're, they're cropped this, or they're presented the same way, no matter if you're on desktop or on a mobile phone. And again, if you don't uh, click for the larger image, you only see a part of really what you want to show and that's kind of defeating the purpose. So um, Perhaps I'm wrong on this deal, but uh, I, I think from my own experience, it's it's going to work okay. Yeah. The small flower beard stung, and you can see that I have a, a vertical image from the side, and then I have a vertical image from the top. And so that's 
pretty important when you're talking, especially for wildlife, to have different perspectives, especially when they're not always landscape, that they're portrait. And you have a way to actually use those now. Again, it has to be in pairs with a seven to eight ratio. So for a three photo tweet, this can also incorporate portrait and landscape photos together. Um, it's great for multiple pers perspectives of a theme. And again, the portrait photo needs to be a ratio of seven to eight. Now this is really important too. The file name needs to be alphabetically first when uploaded with the landscape photos. And the landscape photos are gonna, they need to be your typical 16 to nine. And their file name should follow the portrait file name. And the reason why is that when you post, you want the portrait on the left, that's gonna be your biggest image because we all, lead, we all read from left to right and you want, so the file naming is really important for that uh, purpose alone. Big image on the left, it's the first thing you see, and it will lead to the smaller ones that are actually going to support that bigger image. So you can see that that's really pretty cool. Um, that uh, example is from a recent tweet. In fact, I think I did that this morning of a native orchid growing here in Montana. And you can see that it's um, the portrait photo is really important because it's a very vertical plant. But the horizontal photos also um, lend and support that because they show the habitat in which that plant was growing. So again, that's a good reason to use three photos because you have, again, you have additional information supporting the, the bigger uh, single photo. Now, um, four images are the most that you can do on a tweet. And um, all four of these images all have to be landscape. And they all have to be 16, nine ratio. Um, and if you do that, they will all show really correctly. Nothing will be cropped or um, pushed off to one side or, an, or another. And they look very, very nice. And of course you wanna use um, that many photos because the, the subject is really needing multiple viewpoints. So for this, I have a butterfly. So you can see the butterfly from the side, from the front from above and to the left and from below and to the right. Um, and that's pretty important to identify, you know, certain wildlife, especially butterflies, the or and or plants, looking at different from different perspectives will obviously help you identify or appreciate something. So in summary, remember that you can post portrait images, you just need to make sure that they're in two or three, the two combination or the three photo combination per post. But they're, in some cases, they're using comp combination with landscape photos. Just remember to keep that in perspective and the file naming and you'll be really fine and you'll be able to really tweet up a vision of beauty. I hope you enjoyed the show. Have any questions? Give me a holler.